seven-time winner in the stages, Jacob Wheeler! Wheeler's won back-to-back -back on the Bass Pro Tour. You'd be nuts to pick against him. They got it done, Jacob Wheeler! Ah, uh, it's the knockout round. Time to start swinging. Swing for the fences. Lay Lake, Central, Sweet Home, Alabama, and our top 20 Alabama hammers. All right, day three knockout round. We're here and. Uh, these days are, you know, man, they only come down once a year if you're lucky to make it here. And so, um, knockout round in Redcrest, having three hundred thousand dollars on the line tomorrow. We got to make our chance. Got to catch enough bass to make it tomorrow. And uh, but at the same time, we got to think about how we're going to game plan to ultimately win this tournament. And today, I need a couple pieces of that puzzle to figure out um, and, and click to where. I can put a few extra fish in the boat, and the key's gonna be big ones. I can figure out a pattern or a deal to catch bigger than average fish, three, four pounders, and you can really move up that, that score tracker really easy. I didn't, didn't bob, I was just too sick. Too sick. Yeah. Almost a two and a half pound. And here is Jacob Wheeler. Catch up with him on the drone cam this morning. Wheeler, you know, you had to make him one of the three guys to beat this week. Yes. Okay. Two, two pounds, six ounces. Yep. Heck yeah. Two pounds, six ounces. All right, we're we're getting this thing all right now. All right. Now we peek in on Wheeler, just consistently taking care of business today, JT. Looks like he's got Digging. a solid one right here. Yes, sir. Three pounds, one ounce. Yes. <laughs> Another three pounds. I'm just trying to relax. There's a lot of emotion. Oh, he's going to keep himself right in there to be in that championship round for tomorrow. You can bet your bottom dollar. Two pounds, five pounds. Yep. Twenty-four and a half pounds for him in the opening period. Wheeler, same place as I mean, you all say. <laughs> I ain't heard about that. Yep. Two pounds. Yes. Nice one. Okay. 
What's up, everybody? Good morning. And we're just trying to uh, slowly but surely put it together here. Catching a few good ones this morning. I knew it was going to take a little more than I anticipated just because of the fact of, you know, everybody's sort of been sandbagging for the most part. Not sandbagging, the guys who really know what's going on have been obviously laying off, you know, so you just see that typically going to happen a little bit and trying to hunt us up when the thing is right now, I'm just trying to get downwind, turn around and, and be able to point into the wind. Uh, bow positioning is huge right now because you're fishing for singles. They're they're not the easiest to catch all the time. Boom, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh my gosh, the big one right there. For sure, just spitting up all those small bait fish. Had it easy. He's solid. I haven't caught one of those four pound spots on Kusi yet. At least in the, officially in the tournament. Right? Four pounds, zero ounce. Four pounder. Got one now. <laughs> there you go. That might be the championship round. That is, uh, we needed those four pounders are hard to come by. And we got one of them big old suckers today. So put her back and go right on Whew. feels good i was like all right we got a real one and stop messing around that's gonna be 36.5 for wheeler 12 pounds and six ounces of cushion above the cut line i'm like well let me look at that again and we are back to wheeler that's a big one All right, now we're done. Just keep right now. Three pounds, zero ounces. <laughs> there he go. That should be the cut. Let's go look around a little bit more. 39.5 for Wheeler. You're fine. I'm, it's going to take him up to second I mean, place I as a matter of leave. fact. I'm just, I'm just going to see what we have total right there, and then we'll just. Jacob Wheeler's in great shape. He's definitely a solid one, that one right there. I need that one all day, every day. They knocked down the seventh place. I thought we were solid. And then all of a sudden, you're like, dang, are we? Two pounds, 12 ounces. All right, that has to be the championship round, man. The way these guys have been catching them, I mean, I don't know. But... Weights were tight down to the wire we went, but we've got 10 for the championship round tomorrow on Lake Lake. Welcome to the general tire takeout. Lights are out. And our field of 10 for the championship is set. Three years oh, that's awesome. Three years. Okay. Three years. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you both. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming out. Well, let's welcome up, representing Academy Sports and Outdoors, Mr. Jacob Wheeler! 44 pounds to 6 ounces, 17 scoreable bass, big one went 4 pounds a day. And Jacob, I'm looking at the top 10, your name is in the list, but uh, the nine others, it is going to be a tough win here at the Red Crest tomorrow. It is. I mean, I, I was absolutely shocked uh, midway through about the second period when I saw those weights and then because you kept climbing, 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 and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys didn't stop catching them or what? Like it, you know, I'd go practice a little bit and then I'd be like, man, I gotta go catch one. And then I go practice a little bit and then I gotta go catch one. So um, thankful to be in the top 10. Now you have a one in 10 shot to, to, for $300,000 in the Red Crush, you know, championship. And for me, you know, that's, uh, that's one of, uh, definitely high on my priority list. You know, you look at the score tracker, it's almost like a, a reverse traffic jam. Instead of everybody slowing down, once one guy starts speeding up, I'm going to take a look at your day, everybody starts picking up the pace, and you don't know when to let, let off. But talk us through this. Yeah, I mean, you just really never, I never quite understood when I needed to stop. Like, I'm always trying to stay one step ahead and, and try to utilize every bit of time because, 
knockout round, if you just qualify for a championship, it doesn't matter if you get first, you get 10, it pays the exact same and gives you no advantage whatsoever, I mean, unless you're trying to run to a spot. So for me, I'm just always trying to like play that back inside of it. I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to necessarily win. And so, um, you know, I was able, I had, to, I had to burn a few fish, you know, and uh, I was able to catch a couple of really nice spots, got a four plus pounder and a three plus pounder right there on a bait that's Ooh, eventually gonna come out. Yeah, little yeah. Minnow, that's the biggest one right there. That's big old fat spot. Right so I'm hoping, I need, I'm gonna need a few oh, more of those tomorrow. Big, now, did you work on really developing the timing of the lake uh, for tomorrow or did you develop new spots? Uh, you know, you have to figure the timing out. There'll be a little bit less pressure on some zones. And, um, you know, it, it was definitely, it, you know, it was tough because, you know, you, you got to sort of pull up on the right stuff at the right time. And uh, it's definitely like, in each day it's different because of weather. You know, if it's cloudy outside, the fish do something different. If it's sunny and gets bright, they do something different. Um, and they, they really truly adjust to the conditions. And uh, so the guy who can adjust the best with the weather is going to be the guy who's going to ultimately win tomorrow. Well, you've got a great resume when it comes to Red Crest. Let's hear it for Jacob Wheeler. Next guy, he's going to finish up in seventh place. So we're good to go. Well, here's what I did. I was did. like, this stuff is not even going to make the day. No, I fooled around, fooled around, fooled around, fooled around. I'm like, dude, and I just got mad. There was boats around. I was like, dude, I said, let's freaking go. And I whoa, whoa, I rolled up. I idled like three places, and I'm like, let's freaking go. Whoa, through the trumper now. <laughs> You're down in the lead. I'm like, all right, let's freaking go. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, come on, let's freaking go. I got pissed. <laughs> I got freaking mad. You were mad at him. I could yes. tell. Yes. Because you were sucking. <laughs> well, I just you good? Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. All right, tomorrow championship day. Got uh, got a lot on the line, and got got my boy DC and and and, and some some good friends AJ Jr. Several anglers in the top ten that are absolute hammers, and um, I'm just looking forward to getting back out there and, and, and giving my all, man. It's no matter how this tournament ends up, uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna give it 110 percent tomorrow and prep and prepare and make the right cast and try to make the right presentations and, and just try to catch as many bass I possibly can and and let it all fall where it needs to fall. It's uh this one's always it's always bittersweet man. You know, you just you want it, there's nothing like finishing a week, wasting a trophy, no nonetheless red crest. But in this sport, when it's your time, things just happen to fall into place. And uh we're gonna we're gonna go work hard tomorrow and and do everything we can to make it happen.